goal setting. Now, we talked about the importance of goal setting because you need direction, right? But now it's how do you goal set? How do you goal set? Let's, let's call it, uh, I call it my, uh, my mastery checklist. This is what I call uh, my ability, like my doing, my, my doing, my to-do list. I call it my mastery checklist, right? Because it's not a to-do list. It's my checklist to accomplish mastery. Right. So right off the bat, you know, my, my, my mindset and my lingo isn't that of, of doing, doing, doing. It's becoming a master, enjoying the process, the, the sweet kind of gratification of consistently, um, of consistently elevating yourself. Right. And the way that you do it is with mastering something. It's just mastering something. So, um, Let's get started here. Okay, perfect. So let's say I got my to-do list for the day. You know, for some people it'll be different, but something that's important for me, for example, is uh, one that's important for me, right? Is uh, working out. Okay, so let's set up. Give, give me a couple to-do list uh, things, guys, on my on my to-do list last for the day, and I'll explain the example to you guys. So uh, let's say we got reading. We'll read every day. It's essential. Uh, what else do we have? We have, uh, let's say I have a, a business call. Uh, then I have a client call, right? It's a different one. Okay. Cause all of this is, it'll be, it'll be very much contingent on, on your day to day. And that's the beauty of this formula that I'm about to show you guys. It's really crazy. Let's do another one. Let's do uh, cause it'll, it'll hit home to a lot of, a lot of people check ads, right? That's a, that's a good one. And then let's see if we can do another one. Okay. Perfect. Any other task? What other tasks should I put? Ecom, journaling, uh, managing stores. Okay. So let's do, let's do fulfill orders. Okay. Let's do a concept, a scenario that we have, uh, fulfill orders. Okay. This is, our, this is our list of, of things that we need to accomplish for today. This is the list of things that we need to accomplish for today. Okay, so and, and when you wake up on a regular basis, if, you, if you're, if you're a, 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 an entrepreneur, right? And then something that you should do every single day, highly recommended is you gotta check your balances. Every single day you gotta be checking your balances. Now, people don't like checking their balances Oh, but you need to know what you're worth. I recommend doing that every single day or every other day. Super important. All right, so here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things on our to-do list. Okay, so we're going to attribute to each one of these two numbers. The first one, right, is we're gonna assign a number based off of difficulty to this task, and then we're gonna assign a number based on importance. And then we're gonna do a little bit of math and we're gonna see what pops out on the other end and I'm gonna explain it to you guys. So, the goal is to do the task with the highest level of added numbers, right? First. So, working out, ladies and gentlemen, that is a, from one, one to 10, right? One being difficult, 10 being extremely easy. What is your ability to work out? What is your ability to work out? The difficulty of it. I would say for most people, it's easy for them to work out, right? They just have to get on with their day, go to the gym, perfect. Importance of working out, let's say it's a, it's a Tuesday, you're not crazy busy, right? That specific day, let's say the importance is a, is a 10, for sure. That one's always there. Then we have reading. What's the importance of reading? Uh, let's just say it's a five, right? The, the difficulty of it depends on what you're reading, but a, a solid five. Okay, if you're reading some intelligent books. The importance of reading, we're gonna give it based on the day because we got a business call, we got client calls, and we gotta check ads. Uh, I'm gonna give it an eight, okay? I have my business call, right? It's my team call every single morning that happens at nine, uh, nine o'clock per se, every single day. Uh, the difficulty of the call is not difficult whatsoever, okay? My ability to accomplish this task 
right? The importance of it, let's say it's a 10. Then we have our client call, okay? Same thing, client call, 10. Let's say the importance of the call, not really, not really important. It's not massively important, it's just a general checkup. So you say, done, seven. Check ads, difficulty of it, they might get, it might get convoluted, it might require some time. I'm gonna give it a five, okay? And then the importance of it, you know, your ads are steady, we'll give it an eight, whatever. Fulfill orders, you're backlogged on orders, ladies and gentlemen. You are backlogged on orders. The ease of fulfilling those is a three. It's not very easy, you have, you're having massive logistic problems, but it's extremely important, right? Extremely important to get that out of the way. Now, I like to get the most important, the easiest tasks accomplished first that require uh, very little uh, time but have massive importance and that accomplish a very, a very important difficulty. Now we have checking balances, right? Uh, it's, it's important, but difficulty, it's a 10, right? It's not very difficult. And then uh, the importance of it is, is a two, right? It's, even though it's important, we can get it done. All right, so here we got 12. You've got 13, 13, 17, 20, 13, 20. Perfect. So our goal is to accomplish the tasks, right? The tasks with the highest number first, because this is based off of my importance. This is based off of my importance. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna accomplish in my day, based off of my chart of importance, working out, next thing, business call, next thing, and this is how I'm setting my day, right? So my day, my checklist is, I'm doing this in this specific order, and I don't move on to the next, next task unless the task that's done before is accomplished, right? So the next thing I'm going to do is my client call. We got tons of 13s here, so I'll go, I'll go the business route first. Right, I'll fulfill orders, I'll check ads, I'll read, and then I'll check my balances. Right, so what I've done right now, if I've is, is I've removed emotion and the the feeling of wanting and not wanting to do something, and I've left it completely up to what my rule set. My rule set dictates my operating system. Okay, so it's no longer you know you writing shit on the checklist and you're like. Well, you know, I'm going to go do this one because this one's easier. Or you know what? I don't feel like doing this one. I'm going to come back and doing it afterwards. So what you're doing now is you're saying, I commit to this task list in this specific order based off of the level of difficulty and the level of importance. I combine both of those and I have a successful metric on how I'm supposed to live every single day. And this will change even the same tasks, right? Like working out one day may be less important to you than another day. Does that make sense? Guys, I'm giving you guys the fucking sauce here. I'm teaching you guys how to think like successful individuals. Everybody tells you, go make a checklist. But they don't teach you how to make a checklist. There's ways to make checklists that are more successful and yield higher results than other ways, right? So the importance of understanding this principle will set you light years ahead of your competition because it's gonna let you uh, operate with no bias. You know what needs to get done and you just fucking do it. Ladies and gentlemen, this, this is how you check to see if your day is successful. W in the chat if you guys enjoyed that. Give me a little bit, give me a little bit of credit because I know you guys aren't learning this out there. There's nobody teaching this. There's zero people teaching this that I know of. Uh, and I wasn't thinking about teaching it, but I just decided to teach it because uh, I'm going to teach you guys everything. So it's a very basic concept that if you understand it and you apply it, it's going to let you win. So to recap, you do not have checklists. You have mastery lists. You have the list of mastering things on a day-to-day -day basis, right? So you are no longer doing things, you are mastering things. You no longer do things, you master things. And mastery is the consistent art of pursuing 
a greater potential and a greater possibility. Doing something, right? A to do is something slaves slaves think, right? It's oh, I gotta do this. I I have to do this. This is part of my to do list. No, I am on the on my ability to master this specific task or this specific skill set or this specific thing. And in order to become a master, I must do this, 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 and this in this order. And I do not cheat. This is an uncheatable, uncheatable checklist. It's your mastery checklist. It's your ability to dictate something based off of difficulty and importance. Based off of difficulty and importance. So this is your, your, your ability to remove all sort of bias in your tasks. And if you can remove bias in your tasks and actually do your tasks, now you're on fucking autopilot mode. Why? Because you did the thinking, you did the preparation ahead of time and you're like, okay, I know I need to do this, 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 and this, in this order, this order, this order, this order, and eventually it'll yield this result. It is proven. It is proven. So this is your art, this is uh, your mastery checklist, ladies and gentlemen. Take note of it every single day. Print it, right? Print this right here. Let me remove myself. I'll let you take a screenshot of it. Give me one second. Give me one second right here. Let me remove this. And I'll let you guys take a screenshot of it. Doesn't seem to let me click here. All right, 